meetup.com have you used meetup.com before have you used it i have right and um, being a serial loner and being a serial solo traveler and being to these places i've been to like berlin barcelona uh madrid nicaragua bali all these kind of places i've been to on my own um specifically sometimes when i go to these places it's quite cool because you can sometimes you know through just being around and being social you can find places to go to and hang out have a good time but usually it's quite cool to kind of break the ice with these sort of meetup groups that you can go to, whether it's a language exchange, whether it's a football thing, um, whether it's a sports watching thing, whether it's a bar, bar or pub, pub bar or pub crawl. There's always occasions where you can go and meet people up on these sites, meetup.com, people set up events, host, organize them. You click your attending and usually you kind of go and attend them. And I never knew how it works with the host uh, mechanics. I'm not sure if the host has to pay a fee to kind of host their event on meetup.com because usually when you go especially for a bar or pub crawl, Usually, I think the host has a deal in place with the bar so that the more people come in and spend money, usually they give you subsidized. I remember in Barcelona, you got subsidized beers in a particular bar. Every bar we went to, yeah, Barcelona one was a good example. Barcelona, I did a meetup at the Barcelona language exchange where I did the Barcelona half marathon a couple of years ago. And uh, maybe, no, three or four years ago. Three, three, four years ago. I did a Barcelona half marathon. One of my fastest times I did, I probably did like one minute, one hour 47. I was really happy with that time. Um, I went to a language exchange meetup where essentially we're in the pub crawl and each pub we went to we'll switch languages so in one pub we'll speak only Spanish so if you're Spanish if you're like me English speaker learning Spanish you'd get a chance to practice Spanish next one we'll go to speak switch to English so Spanish speakers can learn English from us and back and forth right we went to about three or four pubs overall and each place we went to we got subsidized drinks or we got like a set menu that was kind of discounted right and that was pretty cool so I think usually the host will work out a deal with the place and kind of get some money maybe uh on the back end of that i'm not too sure how that works out but again it's for punters or for customers like me or people that want to join it's excellent to go to right but there's been a development lately that supposedly they're going to start pay pay um charging host a fee or charging attendees i'm not too sure what the actual thing about it is but here's this um tweet here from a woman called hannah rosenberg um let me see who, who is hannah rosenberg do, 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 just loading it but it is it's Hannah Rosenberg. Hannah Rosenberg is an organizer, founder, and developer at Veles Communicus, blockchain woman, blah, blah, blah. So she's obviously involved in the community. So she put this post up now on her Twitter that says the following. I'll go up on your screen and read it out to you for the podcast. This says, it says, meetup.com, payment change is coming soon. Meetup is always looking for ways to improve the experience of for everyone in our community. One of the options we are currently exploring is whether we reduce cost of organizers and introduce a small fee for members. So being beginning in October, members of a select groups will be charged a small fee to reserve their spot at events. The event will fee can then be paid by members, organizers that cover the cost of the event to make it free for members, which is, you know, I don't really have a problem with. I, I looked at it, I was like, oh, that, doesn't, that sounds okay for me because I'm assuming there's a quite a big um, a percentage of people that don't show up to meet up. So I know I haven't, right? I know I've just sometimes I've gone to a city, I've just clicked attending on all these things I want to go to and I haven't showed up because of, you know, I don't know, other plans have come about. I just have had, I have, I have, I have, I've had other ideas. So I can assume if you're a meetup um, host and organizer and you reserved a bar and you bought, I don't know, stuff to people to do, arts and crafts, and then you're expecting 50 people to come and only 30 come, it's going to eat into your um, profit margins or it's going to eat into your setup costs, right, in some regards. So maybe having a charge set in place will be a better way to go about it. I know Airbnb do a similar thing with their experiences. They don't even bother doing the whole like free thing. It's all, everything's paid. People go on there, have an experience like the one in Berlin where you can, the person, people show you, you know, spatties to go to, or they give you um, a way for you to uh, get into the Bergheim, write courses, all that sort of stuff. Um, those are just flat out fees. You just pay the money, you do the course and you keep it moving. So I, I don't know how they operate as a business or how, or maybe this is the way they're going to make money because I don't really know how they even make money for staff and stuff at Meetup if they're not charging people for anything if it's free to host if it's free to attend then how are they making any money to even host a site to keep it running you know the servers and all that sort of stuff it must be a pain in the ass but i don't know so um that's what i thought initially but let's read the comments and see what people think about it andreas um on block on from the bitcoin fame said we should export all the members on csv before they lock the exits um blah, blah blah but then i think i actually f searched on twitter and found some a, a recent thread that kind of explains some reasons why people are against it but i didn't really have a reason as to why people i didn't really figure out why people will be not down for it but let me see if i can find it here da, 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 where is it meetup.com yeah let's see what people said on the search because i didn't really see what the issue was personally i don't really see why i mean like if they charge people a fee not to to make sure that there's no no shows because again the, the transaction of money does it go, goes a long way i think i've said it before to a lot of friends like when i have friends 
that I want them to help me out or something, if they're tattoo art, not help me out, but imagine you have a friend that's got a skill, a trade, whether they're a carpenter, whether they're a removal service person, they're a tattoo artist, a hairdresser, a photographer, whatever it is. I like giving my friends money because I think the exchange of money um, changes the dynamic of the occupation, changes the dynamic of what you've agreed, the deal. It becomes in a transaction, a business business. They can give me make sure if they want, but I'm willing to pay them the money because I want them to do the job. I don't want them to feel as if they're obliged to give me a favor. And then usually as well, the people that don't want to give money to their friends to do them a favor are usually people that are most, most demanding. They're the ones that demand people, their friends to come at a certain time. They're belling their phone off. They, they want a quick turnaround and a thing that they, like, it's just, it's just a weird, I think if you, if you're expecting that level of service, you should give your friends some money so that on their end, they also want to make sure that you're happy with their service and don't think that you're, they don't think that you're, they're going to take the piss because you're, you guys have a friendship. So I don't really, I, I so the money thing, I don't really have a problem with. Like giving money to do something, I'm I'm perfectly fine with. Um, as long as it's not an exorbitant amount. Of, again, we don't know how to judge whether or not something exorbitant or something's too expensive. But I think charging money does not a bad thing. Um, so here it goes right. This is some um contacts from people that was talking on Twitter. So some of the reactions are the following: My money is on meetup.com shuts down in less than one year. This thing makes no sense. Imagine paying me up to keep your event free. What? Um, imagine communities will switch to FB in no time. Well, people say that, but if they would have switched to F F Facebook, they would have done it already because Facebook is free. So there's a reason why meetup.com works better than Facebook. I don't know why, why it is, why it matters. Maybe because of the fact that on Facebook, people can see you attending things like that. Face that Facebook thing, I I'm watching my privacy settings, but that Facebook thing where every event you click that you're interested in, it automatically shows on your feed is super annoying. People can track exactly where you're going, all your friends. It doesn't make any sense. Obviously, in some cases, if you have your, because I don't have my feed up, my feed is blocked on my Facebook, so I don't really see what people are posting. So I can just go in there, check my notifications, post an event, and keep it moving. I don't, I don't browse face. I don't know what anyone's posting. So I guess if you are, have your feed open, maybe it's quite cool to see what your friends are attending, so you can go to or whatever. But it's just strange, isn't it? That all your friends can see everything you're going to attend, everything you're interested in. It's such a I don't know. I've never got that. Hopefully, there's a setting to change it. If you guys know, if anyone knows about how to change the setting so people don't see what the, the events I'm interested in, please let me know in the comments. I know before the other route to do it was to just save the the setting, the event. Um, you could just go in the little arrow, I think, or the little dots on the side and save the event, and it wouldn't show up in your notifications. But uh, that's not the same thing. I mean, I don't want to. That's another action I have to learn to go in my save tab, check the thing that I did. It's like so. I just want to know what my events are. Know that I, I, I could interesting and, and I'm wanting to go, but I don't want all my friends to know where I'm going. So I can track all my movements. It's just annoying. Anyway, another reservation behind me up charging says the following here me up payment change start in november sucks for the community a lot of alternatives will grow it appears me up pro members are not affected for some reason the next oh so there is a me there is a pro version of me of meetup.com which makes sense the next thing to cancel me up they can't be serious with their new payment system i mean there was an option to charge a fee to attendees but a lot of organizers chose not to do so why on earth is this asshole move well, they need to make money that i guess isn't it? that's probably the asshole move i guess if you're running a company like meetup.com and you have employees you have to pay them or you need to be able to you know um, have some runway in order to kind of survive the next couple of months or maybe the investment hasn't come through you need to make sense most of these changes aren't usually to piss off the customers i've realized having worked in startups having worked on the inside as um as idiotic as it may seem for us for people on the outside who aren't involved in a company it really is usually down an economic version. It's usually an economic thing. Usually there, are, there, there might be on a rare occasion some founders who wake up and have a, on a whim decide to just change something of, of the of the company because they just you know they just they're just trying to be um they're trying to they're trying to live up to the caricature of what of, of what your entrepreneur or CEO or founder is where they wake up one minute and they change the whole direction of the company the next minute it's another direction right that can happen but um, for the most part most of the decisions are usually driven by economic reasons right they need to make money they have to make they have to pay salary people are depending on them in some some regard this investment hasn't come through the random investment didn't come through the investments maybe is pulled out wherever it may be the market's changing <laughs> It makes complete sense. I'm surprised so far Meetup has lasted so long to be honest with Facebook being around too. You'd think Facebook would have eaten into their profits or whatever it may be, but I guess for the most part, there are a lot of people who are, have a hard stance against having Facebook accounts. So a place like Meetup.com makes complete sense, isn't it, in that regard? Um, payment Meetup, da, 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 what else is saying? Lots of questions regarding the payment changes. Da, da, da. So what people are saying here, that's really bad. 
So it's time to look at the alternative meetup because of the new payment policy. Have a look at gettogether.com. So all the people are jumping in and trying to do their own thing. But again, I don't really see the issue of it personally. Maybe someone needs to educate me on it. Please don't force this payment model upon volunteer customers. We run our con communities because we care and we have a resource. Okay, this guy's got a friend. Let me see this guy's friend and what he's talking about. I, I'm really, I'm, I'm really interested to see what the reservations are. So this guy called uh, Salve J. Nielsen says the following about meetup charging now. It says, dear meetup, I'm involved in a couple of volunteer-based meetup groups, mostly around open source software or similar volunteer-driven technical communities. I understand you're planning to charge our attendees just for signing up. This is a problem. I pre I'm pretty sure this will create a negative um, consequences in, in and my similar communities. You see, within volunteer communities, we depend on goodwill within our group when recruiting new volunteers. By offering something useful to users, the members of our community, we give, we give them a reason to give something back. And the thing we want and need from them is their time. We want them to the volunteer too, so that we can come together and make a better community. When you charge them, even a small fee, you'll get the impression that a transaction has happened and that our relationship ends there. Why should I help organizers? I pay to be here. Imagine trying to organize something about a topic you care, deep, you care deeply about. W would you really want everyone in your community to think of you as a service provider instead of a community organizer? Please don't force this payment model upon volunteer communities. We run a community. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, I guess anyway, th that's that's a pretty fair um, uh, opinion. And I guess judging by the post I've got on here, it does say that they're mulling, they're thinking about it. So they're looking at ways to improve the experience. So it's not a, pr a, a, a thing that they've set in place now at the moment so something that's going to going to ro roll out everywhere specific groups so maybe with this sort of feedback it could be because this is this is quite reasoned feedback for himself i really kind of see his point reasoning here again someone could probably make an alternative but part of the reason why meetup works and part of the reason why i signed up for it in all these different cities that i mentioned is because it's quite easy you sign up you click the thing that you want to attend football tournament knitting classes dj class whatever it may be right and then you go ahead and go and meet some new people gain some new friends Get some new drinking buddies, just have a good time, right? Get some social um, interaction in your life because sometimes, you know, especially in adults, I've said before in the adults, it's hard to find friends, it's hard to find hobbies and interests that involve people that you can do just on your own. So, a place like meetup.com is specifically tailored around solo, lone travelers, or people that don't have a big social group, or people that have specific niche in, in interests that not a lot of people have. You go there, meet some friends, and then your, your community grows from there. So, the idea of maybe transactioning is probably not what meetup.com ethos stand behind but then i guess for the most part like i said i'm pretty sure it's just an economic reason i hope hopefully the founders come out and say something regarding it but i'm pretty sure it's just because they need to make sure they pay rent and make sure people are paid their salaries at the end of the month I'm, i assume so but who knows it could be something different but yeah interesting um developments but there if again if anyone knows more than me and i'm talking out my ass then please let me know in the comments i'll be interested to know